bonjour, welcome to my happy, happy art studio in the south of France where I'm going to show you today how I get from a few brush strokes to a colourful finished painting. I often start on the floor so I can throw some paint on the blank canvas. I like to use different brushes, different types of marks, sick marks, thin marks. I use rollers. Uh, anything I can get my hands on to get some paint onto the canvas in these first stages. I use quite a few layers, which you'll see, which you'll see um, building up paint onto the canvas and using that kind of history of marks to help me decide what I'm going to do or where I'm going to go next. I kind of move back and forth from doing linear marks and filling in some blocks of colour. Lovely splotchy marks I make. And then I like to come in with some black and make some, there's some squiggles, for example. And filling in again, I love these scratchy marks that I just made in the paint, in the turquoise paint in the top right there. Those yellow lines, um, they're from a special type of roller that I've got. You can have these different attachments that make really cool marks. And there's some linear black lines and they're really filling in. Filling in with these blues and purples and peachy colours. And as you can see I turn my paint in lots. There's a toothbrush. I like to use a toothbrush um, on my paintings. Some more splashy marks. So I'm really getting into the what's at the in the back of my mind of creating this painting, which is the inspiration of the mountains here in the south of France. We often go to the spend time in the Pyrenees Mountains, where you get these fantastic skies. And this was um, a winter insp inspiration when we were there last winter. I took some fabulous photographs of um, the skies there and the stormy skies, the winter evenings and the sunsets. Um, so all that is kind of mixed into creating this painting, obviously from my kind of, I suppose from my imagination, but from reality as well. I've added a few photos at the end so you'll be able to see how with the colour, the feelings, the atmosphere, how how I'm in, influenced by this place. I love it. So you can see I use my fingers a lot as well. I'm dipping in, dipping my fingers in paint and putting them on, onto the canvas. Here I've kind of got that, getting that snowy whiteness in. I go from really trying to find some imagery and then I lose it again. I paint and then I you can see I'm going over the white that I've just painted on. It's very playful, very playful way of painting. And that's what I love about it, just playing around, discovering. using the marks I put down to influence what I do next. Here's a close-up of all the marks. I'm going really pink. I started with blue and I'm going pink. I do, I do like to use this um, contrast of colours going from one end of the colour scale to the other with the blues and oranges and yellows. Here I guess I feel I need some, some more depth coming into it so I've added some black or darker, really dark blue. I think I've used some ink so you can see some 
some drips coming down. I sometimes drip some, I've got like this little um, pipette where I suck up some ink and spread it across the canvas and it all, all the ink drips down. I love that drippy effect. I'm using a roller here, I think. Let my roller out again. I do a lot of painting on and then painting over or rolling over. I could make a video of all the map making tools that I use. If that would be of interest, then um, let me know in the comments and I could do that. Often in between using paint, I come in with um, some pastels or some crayons some pencils and do some kind of drawings in between in the in between the paint sessions usually when i come back to a painting i um there we saw some so i'm doing some drawing um oh there's some drippies there's some ink drips and i think i'm there with my pencil i like to come in and um Draw some, I suppose you can get, suppose you can get some small marks with a, with a pencil or sometimes even charcoal I use. And we came up to the final, final kind of um, titivating, I like to say. I really like to do this because it adds kind of another aspect to the painting because when you see it from a distance, some of the marks are not noticeable. When you move closer, you're drawn in, and it's like a discovery again of the same painting. I mean, I can look at this painting from one day to another and see something different that I did, and hopefully that's what the viewer will see as well. All these small marks are done with, like I said, pencils, crayons, pastels, sometimes we see the ink drip marks. And what I wanted to create was where you kind of didn't see the, where the mountains finished and the sky started. So it's kind of this vagueness between the sky and the land and this moodiness of, I don't, know if it's, I don't know if it's stormy or it's just a sunset or, that's what I was trying to create. The vastness, atmosphere, I suppose. If you're enjoying watching, maybe just relaxing, watching me paint away, then do, um, do feel free to subscribe and you'll get a notification. If you press the little bell, you get a notification when I bring out a new video. And you can join me, keep me company while I'm chatting away. And of course, let me know what you think down below in the comments. I'd love to have any feedback. Here we are, finished. There's the finished painting. I haven't got a name for it yet, so any suggestions would be welcome. Here's our little mountain trip. Are you daring to go down the slopes on this really <laughs> vintage wooden sledge that my husband bought for the kids? And one of the one of the great photos that I took while I was there, it's been a real influence um, on this painting. And there's sunset, which nicely brings us to the end of the session. Do check out one of my other videos and hope to see you again very soon. Bye-bye. Au revoir.